So it's a little different than other missions because you're sweating all the time. It's humid. Um, I know as sisters, we like to look our tip top best all the time. Um, and it's good to try and look good, obviously, but I wouldn't worry too much about full on makeup. Um, just something simple because it will end up melting off your face by the end of the day. You'll have sweated it off pretty much. Um, your hair is going to be crazy no matter what. They have something called rebonding in the Philippines that chemically straightens your hair because it just like turns into a frizz ball. Um, just put your hair up. You'll rather have it up to keep you cooler. Um, clothes wise. So this is where I've heard a lot of contradicting opinions before my mission. A lot of different sisters told me like, oh, we're this, we're this. It really is up to you. I've heard cotton is good because it's more breathable. But it also, when you sweat, it just stays. It doesn't dry off of cotton until you take it off. And so I didn't like that personally. There were some days I preferred to wear cotton, but it's hard because you just feel wet all the time. Um, another one, I liked a lot of sheer things. So I'm trying to think, I don't know how to explain sheer, just you know, sheer material. And um, the problem with that is it's see-through. So um, if you could find something, I went to the Sister Missionary Mall and I got stuff that um, weren't as see-through, which was really nice. Um, but sheer material is nice because the sweat just rolls right off. And so it's not staying on you. The only problem is that does feel a little bit tighter. And so sometimes you might feel a little bit hotter wearing that, uh, skirts, <laughs> be careful with your skirts. I had moments on my mission where, um, I got like really light skirts because I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be hot. So lighter skirts are good. Uh, no, they're not because there are what are called storms or bagyos at uh, the Philippines and the wind will just come and lift your skirt right up. That happened to me a couple times and that was pretty uncomfortable. I had to throw those skirts away. Um, let's see. Yeah, you want probably about calf length skirts. Anything higher than that. I know it can be to the knee, but you have to take in consideration that you're going to be riding on jeepneys and tricycles. And so when you do that and you're climbing in the jeepneys and stuff, if you bend over it, it like goes up higher and you can see stuff. So I, I was always most comfortable with calf length, um, skirts. And then as for shoes, when you're proselyting, depending on what mission you go to, even in the city, I preferred to wear rubber shoes. So anything from like good ballet shoes from Crocs that those were my favorite because they're breathable. Um, you don't, some sisters wore stockings or like socks. I didn't like that just because it's really, really hot and your feet smell awful by the end of the day. Um, but rubber shoes are really good. Um, you need to bring other shoes that are good for, um, like conferences because you'll have general authorities and like apostles coming and speaking to you. So I had a pair of nice like leather shoes and those are actually nice sometimes during the rainy season because your feet do get kind of cold when they get wet. So a good place for that would be next to the missionary mall. I got my shoes there and um, there's a shoe store, I think to the left of it. And those lasted me my entire mission, even when dogs came and ate them up. Um, they were really useful. Bring a lot of mosquito repellent. Sisters tend to get eaten a lot more than elders do. I don't know why that is, but yeah, your mosquitoes will definitely attack you.